Alright, hello guys, welcome back to another video. I hope you guys are all doing well today, because I don't know if I'm doing too well today, because basically, we got another dumb TikTok trend that's going on. And I don't know if this is like the biggest TikTok trend that's going on right now. Wait a minute, stop the video. I don't know if I was saying trend, but I meant challenge, because that's what this really is, but back to the video. But this TikTok challenge has basically happened at my school, and it actually kind of pissed me off, because it somewhat affects me, because it was happening at my school. And let me just explain the whole challenge here basically this challenge is called the mastering cutting trend i'm not exactly sure what this challenge is called but i know it's basically where you take your mask string like the string that basically holds the mask onto your face and you just rub it across things and it basically will cut through things and this was happening at my school but students decided to take those strings and cut through the chairs at the school with them because they thought it was cool and they thought it was fun now let me just remind you before you decide to do this yourself on property that isn't yours is that this is vandalism and i don't know maybe we'll be having the devious licks part two like i wouldn't even be surprised because people are actually this dumb it is vandalism and i mean either way if you're doing this in school like please don't because you're literally just rubbing a string super fast on something and you're causing friction to cut through it and you could have maybe a slight chance of causing a fire that way because you're literally just rubbing things against each other and it makes friction like they would tell you in science class and that could lead to it getting very very hot or there even being a fire starting and that wouldn't be good especially if you're in school so but yeah there are just random videos on tiktok of people doing this and i just wanted to show you the stupidity that has been going on at a few schools in the united states and in other countries but yeah let me just show you a few videos of people doing this The flames have destroyed much of the beautiful building, including the roof and the auditorium. Now, one of the things that really pisses me off, though, is the fact that some people will go out there and basically vandalize school equipment or chairs and stuff like that. And they'll basically take the string and they'll put it right through the chair and, like, cut it in half. And like I said earlier in the video, this happened at my school. Here is a picture of one of the chairs that had a huge split in it because of one of these mask strings. And basically, what my teacher had to do was she had to actually throw out these chairs because she was worried somebody was gonna, like, cut themselves on the chair because of the sharp corners and shit from the people cutting through the chair essentially so yeah pretty much an equivalent to around i'd say three or four chairs has to be thrown away because of this and those chairs you can't get back and i mean those chairs were already garbage to begin with because people would bend back in them and it would basically mess up the chair legs and stuff like that and then the chairs would have issues where the plastic part wasn't all the way secured to the legs essentially because people do that and it makes the chairs loose when you bend back like that but essentially my teacher was talking to us about this because it wasn't our grade who did this it was actually some of the, like the 10th graders in 10th grade and i mean who would have known that it was going to be the 10th graders to do something really dumb especially that like two months ago they were barking at girls in the hallway but yeah basically my teacher said we can't even have bad things because i mean it's not like we have good things like the chairs are horrible like i can't tell you how many times my freaking butt starts itching after sitting in those chairs for like five six hours it's actually annoying as hell and then i gotta move around because it literally feels like i'm sitting on pins and needles for whatever reason and if i sit down the wrong way on the chair there will be this really bad urge to you know itch your butt because of how itchy it is because these chairs are really itchy i'm not sure if anyone can relate with me to this but i swear to god if you're sitting in these seats for like ever and sitting in them for like hours upon hours in time your butt just starts to itch for whatever reason it's so weird at the end of the day 
Hey, I think school's just cursed, but yeah, those chairs are just freaking horrible. Let alone kids just want to take their freaking mask strings and pretty much just cut a hole through the middle of the chair for literally no reason. And then over here on TikTok, we have people making jokes out of it. And these videos get hundreds of thousands of likes on them. Like, just take a look at this video and then just look at some of the comments. Like, it ain't common sense. Do people know that this is vandalism and this shouldn't be tolerated? Now, I'm not one of these people who likes school, but like, to a certain extent, you shouldn't be vandalizing and messing up other people's shit. Like, it's just one of the things that really annoys me. People will just go around messing up other people's stuff. And it's something that does not sit right with me. Especially that, especially that these challenges came from TikTok out of all places. Like, it literally seems like we have a new TikTok challenge every month. And they aren't good challenges at all. I'm not sure people just are bored of doing normal challenges. But now they're just doing challenges that basically cause trouble. And all of these challenges that I've seen and I've heard of are just horrible challenges. And I don't understand how people would actually want to do these challenges and how people can't think of the repercussions that they would get for their actions if they did something like this. Like this world is just crazy. But that's all I got for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching this video all the way to the end pretty much. It really does mean a lot to me. And if you like this video, make sure you give it a like so it will get promoted in the algorithm so more people can see it. If you're new to the channel and you like this video, make sure you subscribe because I'm trying to get to 10,000 subscribers before the end of the year, which I doubt that's going to happen again. But if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, make sure you leave it down in the comment section down below. And that's basically it. My name is Brio, trying to not do dumb TikTok challenges, and I will see you in my next video. Peace.